Kondo lovers, Fatima here, the owner and creator of Peace and Love Candles. Today I wanted to take a couple minutes and just dig a little deeper into the subject of aromatherapy. There are some people that swear by it, like me, and there are others who just have a basic misunderstanding of how it all works. So I just wanted to go take a couple minutes and go over aromatherapy. So aromatherapy is nothing new. It's been around for centuries and it's just a holistic approach to healing and therapy. Um, you use natural senses and natural aromas to enhance the mind, the body, and the spirit. This is a practice that has been around for ages. If you think about how when you walk into a room and there's a foul smell and you can't get your mind off of it and you can't think about anything else and everything in that and your mind can't function because you're just smelling this odor. Or if you think about how your body feels and how your senses heighten when you think that you smell fire. You may not actually even smell fire or if you smell gas, your body automatically feels like it's in danger and you have to find out what's going on. So that, if you flip it, is what we're going to be talking about today. Your sense of smell is strong. And I know during this time in the pandemic, we have been um, hearing a lot about the sense of smell, hearing a lot about the olfactory um, um, system. And uh, I think we have realized that we have taken it for granted. I know when, the, when COVID began, I was going around the house just smelling everything like, am I okay? Is, am I all right? Do I still have my sense of smell? And so we've been, we've been taking that for granted and just using it um, and not even appreciating what we have. So now we realize that the sense of smell is something that actually does contribute to our overall health. So um, what, let's, how does the olfactory system work? Let's dig a little deeper into the science. Um, oh, and I wanted to take a minute and shout out my shirt just over here manifesting my dreams. That's my theme for today. Um, and the description for the shirt, it's comfy, it's soft, will be in the description of this video. So the olfactory system, it starts off with your nose and your molecules or gas or um, your the smell, the scent, the aroma goes into your nose and up into your membrane. And the membrane basically um, olfact has or is attached to the olfactory receptors. And that tells your brain or is connected to or speaks to your long-term memory and also your emotions. So we often realize that the sense of smell is subjective. And I think that's what causes people to say, hmm, aromatherapy does not really work. Because your long-term memory and your emotions are what says, there are some people that swear by certain scents. They're like, oh, I only want this scent. And then there's some people that smell that same scent, scent or aroma and they, it, they can't even, it, it reminds them of something or their emotions come up of something that may be bad or maybe sad. And so that's, I think, is why people are um, tend to say uh, aromatherapy, it's not really a therapy. It's not no science beha behind it and it does not work. But the fact that, that it's connected to your long term memory and the fact that it's connected to your emotions is what makes it subjective, but does not mean that it's not act actually working. So the limb limb Beck's part of the brain is what houses that long-term memory and that emotions and that's what your olfactory sense your olfactory system is connected to and speaking to um, because what you remember about a certain scent may be happy or what you remember about a certain scent may be sad so my top selling scents are basically those that are most popular and I think that's why aromatherapy and that's why 
aromas and um, the whole um, olfactory system works. So my top selling scent is lavender. And of course you can find lavender in everything. Every um, thing that's scented pretty much has lavender in it. And the people that are lavender people swears, they swear <laughs> by that lavender scent. And usually it's associated with being calming, it's associated with uh, bringing down um, um, an, uh, antidepressant. And so lavender has that, um, you know, it's just a true, authentic, natural, uh, floral scent. And I try to keep my scents uh, kind of authentic to the floral scents. I try not to mix it with a lot of things. I try to keep it so that aromatherapy will speak to anyone who is um, looking for that authentic scent. My next top smelling scent is sage. And of course, sage is a cleanser. And so sage is one that have, has been used for centuries as well um, in the house and you burn it naturally. And I think it's another one that just reminds people of, you know, that cleansing and that um, calming scent. And the third top smelling scent, which is the mother of all, it has everything in it, is stress relief. And this stress relief is one of my favorites. And it has the citrus scent mixed with the sweet scent, mixed with the floral scent. So it has the mother and doozy of it all. And the citrus, of course, when we think citrus, most of the time we think clean. And so it, I think that that citrus reminds you of that cleanliness around the house because most of our cleaning products has that citrus smell in there. That sweet smell, usually when you think about that sweet smell, it kind of puts you in mind of comfort, like comfort smooth foods, and it heightens that sense of comfort. And of course the floral, as we all know, uh, kind of puts you in mind of that maternal love and caring. And so when you have those three mixed up together, you have something. And that's what that stress relief is. Um, so there is some science behind aromatherapy. It has been proven. Um, and I'm, I think I'm going to make more videos that kind of goes into each scent and um, the top aromatherapy scents and how they do benefit and heighten your um sense of calm and sense of healing and sense of wellness. And so I'll um, start working on that for you guys a little bit later. But like I said, of course, there is some science behind aromatherapy. I kind of brushed over it, but it's a lot of science behind it. And it does heighten your mind, your body, and your soul. So I have in the past and I have suffered from depression, so what I'm not saying is that this can take a place of um, any conventional medications that you um, are on or conventional therapies that you may have or medication that you may be saying, uh, may be taking. But what I am saying is that aromatherapy can aid in your, ther in, in your wellness and can aid in some of the things that you're already doing. So... Um, I want you guys to take that and I hope that you have a new standing about aromatherapy and what kind of standing do we now have about aromatherapy? Uh, understanding. So peace and love to you always and like I always say, be well.